And there I was, left alone, without my love Regan to hover here in the other side. Until that fateful day when... Oh, found you! No! I wasn't done with my story! For some reason, I didn't get to the most important part! Penny, you have to find Regan! She's not a bad person! She can help you! Yes! Finally! I found it! Hey, don't take Harold! Bad news, girlfriend! This time, you're gonna stay dead! Alright, well, Harold said Reagan is actually a good guy, so I guess despite the fact she stole my sweet bod that I already perfectly customized to my own tastes, I should probably track her down. I can hear you! I'm Penny and I'm here to help. Are you Reagan? I am, but I'm trapped in here and- Reagan, slow down. I came to tell you, I know where Harold is. <gasps> you do? Oh, my sweet Harold. You really know where he is? I do, and despite the fact that you're, uh, borrowing my amazing body, I still want to help you. Harold says you're not a bad person. He's such a sweet talker. Penny, I'm trapped in here. Help me escape this coffin, and I'll tell you what you need to know. I can't believe I left my sweet bot for just a few hours, and already it's stuck in a coffin. Perfect. Please, I'll explain everything. I just need to get my, well, your body out of here. I don't have anything on me to smash a coffin, but wait. Can I actually possess myself? Is that dangerous? Would that cause a tear in the space-time continuum or something? I guess there's one way to find out. this crazy thing. Hey, do you like how it- Penny, what are you- I need you to smash the coffin, not get stuck in here with me. Oh, I'm not stuck. You and me, Reagan, we're driving my body together. And that gives us twice the willpower. Come on, hop when I give the signal. We're gonna drive this coffin right off a cliff and smash it that way. Share. And now, Reagan, who I'm not even sure I trust yet, I'd really appreciate knowing who you are 
what you're doing here and why you stole my body! A body which, I remind you, I am still only partially in control of. I did say I'd tell you. Okay, let me grab a projector. Wait, what are you going to project onto? Directly into your mind, of course. Is that safe? So many questions! When I saw that Harold had died, I was devastated. Harold! But I knew he would have wanted me to live my best life. And I did. And one day, many years later, I died. Amateur lion taming accident could have happened to anyone. In death, I was happy to finally be reunited with the love of my life, my Harold. Harold! My love! Regan, sweetie, I'm stuck. My bones are scattered across the world and I can't leave until they're safely in a grave. It sucks so bad, sweetie. I'm not losing you again. So we were stuck. We waited there together for hundreds of years. Until one day, when you decided to drop in. The strange shard that killed Harold somehow gave me the power to take over your body. I'm alive! I'm back alive! Back in the world of the living, I'd finally be able to collect Harold's bones and set things right. Or so I thought. That's a cool and not unsympathetic backstory, but you still stole my body and my life. I know, but... Well, you can have it back after I find Harold's bones. That's all I want. Reagan, would you be offended if I used the word crappy? Not at all. Reagan, you've been doing a pretty crappy job of collecting his bones. How many do you have so far? Zero? Uh, do you remember a sad boy meets girl story that also involves boy getting his head chopped off by a windmill? Nice man. Very tasty. Kept Cub satisfied for weeks. But then, uh, Wolf feel slightly guilty. Well, here's your chance to make up for that. I'll forgive you for gobbling my delicious husband if you lead us to his bones. Nice lady. Follow Wolf. Oh, stop slapping me, Harold! Just give me that stupid shard in your stupid hand! House? Please crush this annoying thing! With pleasure. Ouch! Oh! Ah! Oh, it's good to be back in the old body. Really? You didn't find it a little... Uh... Tall? It's the perfect height! And don't sass a body you didn't even ask to borrow! That is rude, Reagan! This is definitely source of bone smell. Wolf would bet two stacks of delicious human flesh upon it. That's not necessary, but thanks. Looks like this patient is going to flatline. Is that a threat? Dang it, Vera! Penny? Wow! Vera hasn't seen anyone do the old two souls, one body trick in years! How's that working out for you? It's, uh, surprisingly cozy. Yep, that's what they tell Vera. So listen, Vera couldn't help but notice that that ghoul there is bothering you. You want Vera to tag along with her spell that can kick ghouls out of bodies? Yes, please. Okay, shove over. Wait, I thought you meant tag along in the walk beside us sense, not in the also possess my body sense. Vera apologizes for the confusion. Uh, 
Why, yes, they're relaxing in this body. Feels sassier than the old one. Okay, so, to stop a ghoul from possessing someone else, just do this. Yes, disappointing. Vera noticed this too. Vera will need way more ghost power for this to work. One second, Vera has a friend she can call. Hello? Martha? Vera, are you still at the Department of Death and Dying? Oh, perfect. Well, remember how Vera covered for you when you accidentally sent those 5,000 souls to the bad place? Gotta call in that favor, Martha. Vera needs some ghosts. You've got Vera's coordinates. Thank you, Martha. These will definitely have the additional ghost power units Vera needs. running into each other. I'm down for whatever. Stay away. Stay away. What the? I was just about to get together with my new girlfriend. Dang it. Hi, Penny. Just good to be seeing you again. Stay away! Penny, always a pleasure. Anything I can do to help, I'm happy to do it. Inside that building. Definitely old bones from before. If you not need them, can Wolf eat? No, Wolf! No eating the bones! Wolf accepts your terms. Reluctant. Hey, it's you! From before! Thanks for the help with Jenny! This town is just a beginning. This town is just a beginning. This town is just a beginning. Never fear, your shining knight is here! And also your legally mandated squire. You're just ahead. I think you'll count for point five. No offense. None taken. Looks like this criminal. 
It is going to get the death penalty. Hey, don't be mean. Human bodies are great for violence. Human bodies are great for violence. This world is ours. Alive now? Well, I was. Until the hot stop and thrills a Terra Lady 18. No regrets. Your plan will never work. This world is ours. Back on Earth, dearie. Happy to be your plus one for an evening. My help will be out of this world. Sorry, is that cliche? I'm new here. That's it! That's all Vera needs! The full force of the spell is now available if we work together. Penny, you're in charge. Just say when. Got it, Vera. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I'm awesome now. What did Vera tell you? Now let's go use our powers on those dang ghouls. And save my Herald. Yes. Everyone, let's end this. I cannot wait to dispense justice from thy new and more female frame. Sir, please don't make this weird. Penny, I apologize if my night is making things weird. Hey, pretty. What about claiming excitement from dispensing justice from a new and more female frame is weird? Tis every night's dream to dispense justice from every frame imaginable. Hey, glad you two are having fun. <sighs> The 
is tight quarters here. Sorry, my head's just regular sized, but there's me and 13 points. Five other people in it right now. Vera is impressed by your mental stamina, Penny. If it were Vera, Vera would already be going crazy and speaking in the third person. What happens if I jab on this button? No, don't. This isn't our body. We can't control it like that. How come my right eye just blinked three times? I'm sorry, dearie. I'm trying to control him. What? Hendies gather in Harold's bones! Stop him! lives I was expecting. This was not one of them. I died in a Santa costume and so get to spend eternity in a Santa costume. Things worked out great for me. What if you died naked? Would that mean... Can we please discuss... Wolf smells bones inside that building. What is this? He's only getting stronger! Does anyone want to go watch scary movies? We're all ghosts here, Fireman. What could be scarier? Oh, you've never seen the Tower Lady series? Super scary. Okay, so get this. She's a lady, right? But her main interest, Tara. So one day, she's walking down the street, terrifying everyone she meets, of course, when... Everyone! I'm trying to concentrate here. That's all we need. It's time to end this. It's time to save Harold!
Regan! I knew you'd never give up on us! This is for you, my love! Catch! My love. Not even death, dismemberment, possession, and giant nightmare demons can keep our love apart. This is much nicer than kissing a skeleton, which is what I was worried I'd have to do. Penny? What happened? Why am I here? Why are you... Wait, why are you dying in my arms? Hey, I'm back from my moon vacation, fully rested and relaxed. Great sights, great restaurants, though I must admit they didn't have much of an atmosphere. Anyway, I'm so ready to start reaping souls from the living. Hey boss, speaking of that, there's been a mistake. What? Yeah, turns out I didn't die after all. My body got possessed by the spirit of a long dead woman, which kicked my spirit over here to the other side. But yeah, totally alive right now. Uh, for the moment at least. Also, I'm not a demon. I'm pretty sure I've gathered from context clues that only demons are supposed to be doing my job. Wait. I left a living human in charge of the afterlife? I left an alive person in charge of death? Oh, jeez, I could get fired for this. Hey, I won't tell if you won't. Now, if you could just send me back to the land of the living, quickly, hopefully. Thank you, Penny. Thank you. You've saved my skin. Metaphorically speaking, of course. And it seems you've also done a lot of solving of other people's problems, too. <laughs> See you never, Temp. Be gone! Penny! You're alive! I was terrified. I thought for a moment that you were... <laughs> <laughs> Dead? Nah. Besides, that's not scary, Elliot. People think of him as this force that stalks them throughout their lives, but it's not like that. Penny... I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll explain later. For now, come here, boyfriend. Reagan and Harold, they really did love each other, you know. I know. I miss them, them and all the others. Yeah, it's a shame we won't see them tonight. And also ever again. I wouldn't be so sure, Elliot. After all, there's a reason we're having the housewarming party on Halloween. And that was how, with the aid of the ghosts she'd helped in her adventure, Penny managed to save not just the day. That was how Penny Dowood managed to save everyone. Harold and Reagan were reunited forever. Penny was restored to her body, and she and Elliot, and all the inhabitants of Flatwood Peaks, living and dead, lived and died, happily ever after. The End So, remember back at the beginning when I promised you you'd reach your own end soon enough? Well, here it is. Oh, you probably thought I was making some threats about you dying. But no, I was only talking about the end of this game. Well, how can I know if you're going to die or not? But all I know, you're one of the few immortals that walk this earth, unable to die passing the time by playing video games. And for that, I thank you. Please, tell me your secrets. Oh, and if you aren't one of those immortals, well, I thank you too. You shared some of your finite life with me. And when death does come for you, 
remember, he's not such a bad guy. You'll probably like him. And, you know, if you don't, you'll always have the option of flipping death.